What's up, people? Man, let me tell you, we are back here at Alpha Nation. You already know how I do it. We live here in Inglewood at Cuban Leaf. I'm getting right into the episode. Right. One of the OGs, one of the, the cat, the first dude that taught me how to read over my contract. When y'all see me on First Amendment, I'm gonna save it for the episode. The one and only comedian Shane. Yo, yo. And, and so it be, and as it be, what it be? I don't even know if that is that a sentence. Do you? It don't even matter. I don't even know if that sentence. But God, God damn it, all words are made up, so I can make up anything I want. All sentences are made up. So uh, are you breaking? Are you? No, no. You the guest in the house. All right, all right. Like, so all right, you so break, OG. So I'm listen, show man. Y'all something. This is. I learned this. I learned this from a, a crippled nigga down in uh, Dallas. He showed me this uh, break. I'm going to show do? you how I do this. Let's it's see. Gonna, it's going to scare you a little bit. No, but you, but you'll be all right. You'll be all right. all right. Let's see. See, I like a cat that can break. I like that. Now, you pick what you want. You all pick right. what you want. Here at Alpha Nation, you taking the lows or the highs? Whichever highs. one you want. Taking the highs, I right, bet. Right. OG. Right. It, took, it, it, it took a minute to even say, who would I, you know, who would I respect? Right. Would I want to bring him on the pot, you know, on the show? Right. And then I was like, when I saw the the uh, your Amazon special. Ah, uh, yeah. The the commercial. The, the trailer. And then the trailer on the Instagram, I was like, that nigga did it. Yeah. I knew he was going. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he was always when I moved here in '08. Right. Let me, let me let me go like this. Right. You helped me do my contract. For First Amendment. And I didn't know nothing about Taft Hartley and none of that shit. Oh, I didn't yeah, know yeah. nothing about that. When we did, and I, that was the only comedy show I wanted to do was First Amendment. Yeah, that, was, that shit was fire. That shit was fire. I, mean, I remember yeah. when I got in there, me, you, Red Grant, and we in the damn, uh, what you call it? The, uh, uh, the, the auditorium. And we in the yeah, and they big bringing ass out, out of somewhere. Right, and they bringing us the, the, the contracts, and I'm yeah. sitting there stuck. And you could have shitted on me. You could have, because yeah. I was living in L.A. then. I had just moved to L.A., but then I was just like, that's OG Shane. And you were just like, you, you good? And I was like, man, OG, I don't know what that is. You know, I don't yeah. know about the contract. My, my people ain't here. He was like, all right, sign here. X that, X that, X that. Don't sign here. Yeah. Turn to the page, turn to the page. We had a 12-page contract. Yeah, they was, they, was, they was trying to own a lot of shit. That's why I said certain shit you shouldn't sign, because what they do is... When you sign it, they own the material too. So they could take that material and turn it into a sitcom or whatever they want. So that's a lot of comics sign it without thinking. And then next thing you know, they watching they, they material on a sitcom. So that's why a lot of comics, so I, I and I learned it from, I learned it from a, a bunch of other comics before me, some old, old, older comics that I was first coming up. It's I still did. your shot. No, I, yeah, I already, I already. Yeah, it's I, still your shot. You got the little balls. Now we play here, ball in hand. All right. So if you miss your whole ball, I take over. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so you got to hit. I'm your gonna, I'm gonna give you some room here. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you some room. Now here. listen, that's ball in hand. If you don't hit your ball first, so you got to hit your ball first. Ugh. Yeah, I that can't. Was, yeah, that was, what? It's a whole bunch of. Look at the angles. Look at the table. All right, let's see. Yeah. I just got. Oh, you got this. Six ball, the green ball. Let's see. So that's ball, cause you, you, the, you the little ones. All so right. You chose. So go ahead. So what made you actually be helpful? Uh, cause I see how to the up and coming comics. I see how black com. This is real, and y'all know it. Black comics have a tendency to have that crab in a barrel mentality bullshit, 
and not realize, man, Nine and we worth a billion dollars. Yes, we are. And there's room for a bunch of us. Don't scratch. Ah! Ball ahead, so you get to move that bitch any way you want to. Well, you know what? Go ahead, uh, go ahead. That happened just now, young man. Part of the game. <laughs> that just happened. That just happened. Yeah. I just want you to know that yeah. that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> I want just, I'm trying I'm not, not to let the dog out. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to chill. I'm, no, no, your balls is here now. You shoot right. one more man, this ball, these are your balls. Them are low I'm balls. Go, all right, wait, all right. Watch, watch this, watch this. Oh, horrible. But guess what? No, I feel, uh, no, I, I, I feel like, I feel like uh, a lot of black comics see younger black comics as a threat, and I see them as a future. So I don't even trip on it. And, and also, it's somebody's, like, Yogurty ass niggas, they a mad. Lack, who? Yogurty. There's a lot of niggas that's Nigga. mad. Yogurty, they. He said yogurty. Yeah, like they. That mean you mushy and mushy. Yo play fruit at the bottom, niggas. So they they, they 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 afraid of like having strong comics around them. I'm like, yo man, I'm a Zilla and I've been a Zilla. So once you a Zilla, you don't worry about other people. Eleven ball corn up there. Okay, watch him hit this shit on some magic shit. Uh-uh. Let's see. See, he got the light. Oh, okay, you didn't. I'm, 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 I shoot. I just, I like you, so. All right, so let's see. But, um, no, nah, man, and I, and I also, man, I'm a fan. So I think, I think comics feel like you're a bitch if you're a fan of another comic or another man. You say, the, the, you know, you can see that that person is going to be something. Okay. And I, that was part of my reasoning with a lot of comics or when I tell them about how to make money, on the social media, how to, so you don't have to suck nobody's dick in the clubs with all that bullshit. Where they, you know where they do that shit where they make you jump through hoops? Yes. The improvs Come and on, stuff man. like that. Yeah. And we way stronger than a lot of the comics they put in there. So I'm like, I've said, I wanted to have money coming in through social media. Yeah, So I, 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 made, I made my money through social media. I made a decent amount of money through social media and also monetizing my videos. So I monetize a lot of my shit. People don't realize, even if you get a thousand views, Come on. And you do a revenue share of 50%, you still getting loot. So that's what I would do. And so people are like, oh man, you ain't doing these gigs. Yeah, but man. Mailbox yeah. money is yeah, nice. Exactly. And, and, and you put it this way, some going to college. How about that? How about that? Off of jokes. Off of jokes. Off of jokes. Off of jokes. Yeah. And then, um, but I saw, I saw a lot of comics that, a lot of black comics that wasn't Working together. I tried to start the Black Comedy Association. Oh, you did? Back in the day. What happened? Too, too many motherfuckers crabbing the barrel. Thought it was corny. I was like, yo, this is so common. can get medical, dental, oh, shit like that. Because a lot of comics didn't shit. have that. And so I, I tried to get together with SAG and AFTRA. Really? Yeah. And what, they, they shot us down? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they shot us down, so. And what year did you pursue that, OG? Uh, shit, uh, 2001, 2001. It was 2001, I tried for a year and a half, and then the shit didn't come through, so I just said, you know what, I gotta focus on that, and then my son got sick, and I said, everything else is bullshit. Once my son got sick, I was like, fuck everything else. So, gotcha. I just you mean focused sick, on like just six it, yeah, yeah. He got a thing that's like sickle cell, and it's in the same vein, so, you know, when I saw him, you know, he had to keep getting blood transfusions. They call those crisis, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, they call so, them crisis, yeah. So I started focusing on that and just making money off comedy. And I was doing good. I'm doing good. And I ain't had a manager or an agent. And motherfuckers used to ask me, how'd you get on that show? How'd you get on that show? You do one, a lot of shows, nigga. Come one, on. being a Zilla. Two, it's like... I go straight up to him. I went like when Warren Lawrence with that shit. I was like, "Yo, why am I not on your show, bro?" That's what you said, nigga. Flat out. <laughs> I said that to Russell Simmons because Bob Sumner acted mad. Like, you know, the niggas, the nigga had kind of, you know, what I mean, he got. Come on, Shane. Come yeah, on. yeah. He started trying yeah, to tell me shit. To me different. Yeah. I already yeah, know and then he did. tried to say that shit, and so I, I asked Russell. I said, Russell said, "Man, good set. I had a good set in New York at a uh, place." LeBar Bass with a comic named Talent. A lot OG of Talent. Don't, yeah, OG Talent. He's a Taurus like me. Yeah, yeah. Four days before me. I love yeah. it. Go ahead. And so I was doing the shit with him, and I had I killed. I followed, um, what's my man? I forget the nigga's name. I followed him, and then Russell said, man, good set. I said, good set? Why ain't I on Def Jam? He said, you, he said 
Why aren't you on Def Jam? I said, well, your nigga that books it saw me. Bob Sumner saw me at the Bay Area Black Comedy Competition win the first round. But for some reason, I ain't getting on because he gonna come up to me and say, yeah, I'm from the streets, but you know, I'm intelligent too. I just don't think the Def Jam crowd will get you. I said, first off, nigga, stop licking your lips when you're talking to another grown man. Love you for that. that, that cause he stop mean, licking your fucking lips when we talking to you, yeah, nigga. Yeah, but he mean, ahead, you know ahead. he do that little yeah. R&B. You know how yeah, he do that little yeah, R&B, yeah, yeah. R&B shit. I'm yeah. like, why? first off, I'm not really an R&B cat. I don't know what you're doing. You know, he said it because you light skin. Yeah, that's that's that. That's I, another. That's most dark skin thing. niggas. This yellow niggas. But go ahead. Right. That, no, they 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 think that light skin knuckles won't knock you the fuck out. So uh, and then Russell said, "Yo, man." You no, know, he said. You know what he said? He told me. He said, what? "Call me next week." I called him next week because I thought it was on some. He was going bullshit. And it was him. It was really him. And he said, Russell. Uh, yeah, Russell. He said, you'll be on the, uh, the final show. And I was on the show. It's crazy. I was scared because I was on the show with my idol, Paul Mooney. It was Paul Mooney. AJ Johnson um, was on the same show as us. And I was like, first, I was like, damn. And, they, and Paul Mooney's like, nigga, you're going after me. No. You're a little too high energy for that bullshit. I, I love wow. you. You're a, you're a crazy yellow nigga. And I don't want that before me. So I went up. I went up last on that taping, and I and it sound just like yeah, <laughs> Paul, yeah. He would, he always my, my pops used to um, when I do shows with him at Caroline's. There's a club Caroline's in New York, Broadway. Uh, it's one of the best clubs, and I used to open for Paul Mooney. Rest in peace, Paul Mooney, icon, legend. A lot of motherfuckers would not be doing comedy without him. I know I wouldn't be doing comedy without him existing, and. Um, Mooney, Mooney used to call me, he would never call me by my name, he'd go, angry yellow nigga, you're just an angry yellow nigga. Wow. And he would constantly, and my pops, you know, was like, what's with this body boy, he's swishy, he got the softness, I don't like it, call him, call you by your name. And so, um, I said something to him, because I said, fuck that, you know, fuck the show, I know we got three more shows, but call me my name, man, my pops ain't digging that. And he's like, oh, I like that, nigga, you, you. You'll stand up for your shit. You're on all the shows. So it was, um, it was cool, man. It was like, and then we did a show called The Conscious Comedy Tour. Me, Dick Gregory, dude named D. Militant. What? Um, OG. Yeah, D. Militant, the Mooney Twins. We did a thing, Conscious Comedy. It was Dick. Are they funny? Uh, they didn't have a good set that night mm-hmm. on the theater, but I've seen them kill. No, no, I'm just saying when you say you're a Mooney twin, yeah. It's almost like Lil Richard, Lil Young Mason. Yeah. When he opened up for me in San Diego. How'd he do? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, OG, I'm, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Shout out to Tyree Spivey, I think his name. Yeah. Brian Hooks. My turn. It was so, it was so, like, I don't think niggas wanted to see him do bad. So it didn't. We didn't give a fuck because he was com- he was comedy royalty. Yeah. So nobody is gonna be like booing, and he looked just like his daddy. So when Mason Pryor walked up, he knew who I was. I didn't right. know him, but I'm like looking like nigga, you you look just <laughs> like your like, daddy. Yeah, like a, like a clone. I'm looking at him like I was like it don't matter. I don't give a fuck if he do well or not. It don't right. matter. I'm just like touching the nigga that's royalty. You right. Know what I mean? And I don't think he had the worst set. I don't think he had a bad set. I don't think he had a great set. I don't think he had a good set. I think people just, Jaws was dropped. Right. For the whole seven minutes he's up there. They, we looking like, that's really his son. (laughs) Yeah, but I seen him take it to the face at the Apollo. That motherfucker ate a giant bag of crispy dicks. Like I'm talking about, I'm got seasoned, Season dicks. The, he, crispy uh, nigga? Crispy what jerk. What is crispy dicks? Jerk chicken dicks. <laughs> right here. All right, okay, now I'm going to see you do this one. I know he can probably do it. I can't do it. Oh! Hey, oh! What? I'm just playing with shooting. I know, I know. I mean, I know. <laughs> I, but see, hold up. <laughs> we shoot. We ain't yeah, really shooting. We ain't really we. So, just. Hey, we, ah! I'll say this, though, Shane. Yeah. A lot of. One thing I noticed about you, you your ass was always, because they always think light-skinned niggas is militant. 
Yeah. Okay? And I think that's because of Matt Turner. Right. Not a dark skin nigga, but Yeah. Right? Christmas, right. Addicts, Sane. Yeah. Uh Ray Grady, you know. <laughs> I'm for the revolution. Yeah. You know? Um, you, right? right? So just you being genuine and you could have fucked me over. Right. You could have literally fucked me over with this contract. And I never forgot that. And I remember that day when I when I uh was at the J spot. And you walked up and you was like, nigga, you different. And you walked off. And I was like, man, that's because you know me. Yeah. I wait for the OG niggas. To be like, come over here. Because you know comics will do a show for you, open up for you. Right. And be like, yeah, they'll feel like they're on the same level as a Shane. And then Shane be like, hold on, how many years you got? Yeah. Then they be like, oh, Shane, hey, like, no, nigga, you got four years in. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. are not on his level. Get yeah. the fuck out of my green. There's room. a lot of guppy niggas. There's a lot of guppy niggas that think Why they... Why are you saying these words? <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's niggas, there's guppies. So, and, I, and, 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 so, and then there's sharks and there's fish and there's barracuda. And a lot of cats is guppies and they don't know it. Like, I love going on the road with cats that think, uh, cause I be in the cut, chilling. Cause yes, when you get older, and when you get older, you just be like, I'm chilling. I ain't really trying to all this rah-rah. Cause I was so rah-rah when I was this young. Was it your shot? It was your shot. It's my shot? Okay. I, would, uh, I was real rah-rah when I was younger and uh, Ronaldo Ray schooled me. Oh gee. Yeah, I used to, I used to uh, oh shit. That oh, was nice. I, um, cause I was fight, I was always fighting. And I was going, I was going to stomp AJ Johnson's face at the Comedy Act Theater. You talking about Ezel? Yeah. Leave him alone, man. Cause no. you know what? I, I, you know, I, I, I seen him. Hold on, put it like this, OG. I seen him. I seen him. I seen him. Yeah. Right. And I remember how he was. Yeah. You seen him in Black Panther, right? And I, I want to tell everybody this. Yeah. When we see you in television, <laughs> that's how you really are. So when Martin played the the jealous nigga in Bad Boys. That's really Martin Lawrence. Right. Yeah? Right. So when AJ Johnson did the Ezel shit, when he played, uh, you really see his character in the yeah. movie Black Panther. Like, I mean, when he did Panther. That was really him. He really was, at the time, telling niggas like, if I'm on the show, you can't be on the show. Right. You know what I mean? That was him in Players Club. That's how these niggas really are. So. When I saw him, we did Huntington Beach. Right. Down there with Al Green. You know, heavy set Al Green. That's OG. Yeah. So I stepped off like, oh shit, that's OG. He was like, yo, who is that nigga? And then Al was like, nigga, that's Grady. Right. I didn't say nothing. I was like, what's up, OG? I'm going to go over here. He was like, nigga, you funny? And I looked. I said, oh <laughs> shit. What are you, why would you even? I said, oh, okay. I said, um, I'm opening up for you. And then when the crowd get through, we'll see. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, he, we never had that exchange after that. No, nah, he he you know, he liked the clown. I ain't really a bagging type comic. And I came up to the, do my set and he just started talking shit about me. And mm -hmm. I was like Ball of hand, wherever you want to take it. Boom. He started talking shit about me. And I'm like, I don't know you. If I don't know you, you can't. I mean, this is man shit. I don't yeah, know we you. don't talk about niggas yeah. we don't know. Yeah, yeah, you don't know me. You don't know if I just stab four motherfuckers in the head go, with a fork. Go, 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 go. Uh, ah. You know, I might have just, you know, I might have just took a spoon and <laughs> stole somebody's kidneys. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what the fuck I just did. Did you say kidneys with a spoon, nigga? Yeah, and then you end up in a fucking tub wondering why I get why I get all these stitches why my kidneys gone mm -hmm. so he talking shit and he's like he said some old corny shit like I'm gonna go to my car and get my gun I said what's going what you think I'm gonna let you walk to the car before I drop 10 on you yeah we we gonna go with the car with you yeah it's yeah. like it was silly so and I was getting a little rah-rah and uh Ronaldo Ray pulled me to the side and said look here young blood let me tell you something all right, I'm arguing with this nigga for about an hour. Mm -hmm. And then I realized who the asshole was. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walked away. And first, my first thought was like, yo, he the asshole. That motherfucker's that. Then I thought, wait a minute, I'm the asshole for letting this dude even get in my head like this. And ever since then, I was like, I'm on some chill shit. See, he can really shoot. Yeah, uh, motherfuckers can't see. He really. Because I was a little too smooth with the fuck he just did. 
You see, my shit is all over the place. <laughs> he did, then he gonna walk away and hold it. Then he gonna hold the stick like this. That's called a follow through, OG. I know, man. <laughs> I know, man. But the way you, oh. No, no. What are you talking about? No, no. But no. I got the eight in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but Ronaldo, Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo schooled me. And then I, that's when I started really listening to them. And um, George Wallace, who was telling me, and uh, John Witherspoon. I used to. John Witherspoon used to say, look, you made $100, you really made $75, because you need to take that $25 and put it away, because this shit is up and down, up and down, brother. So he would do that, and then I would always, so if I made $150, I really would go, okay, I made $100. Talk that shit. And so I would put it away. So when the COVID shit hit, people's like, what you gonna do? I'm fine. <laughs> Nigga, people don't know, you gotta know how to hustle and yeah. some shit like this, because the funniest thing is, when comics, when the clubs aren't open, right? Yeah. What usually happens is a comic, he has to either pick up a job. Right. Or he has to fuck some broad to keep the roof over his head. You know right. what I'm saying? You know, I call it slaying that uh, rent dick. Yeah, That's what yeah, I call it. You rent gotta, dick. Yes, you yes. gotta throw that rent dick out there. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with a nice piece of rent dick. You know what I'm saying? But then when you get on your feet, you pay her shit so right. she won't throw your slut name out there and you know, it's all over the place and you know? <laughs> yeah, so she be like, he, 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 he used me and all that type of shit, right? So I'm just saying. But I'm on some Kevin Samuel shit. He used me. Well, welcome to the club. Nigga. Like, so do, do you like the dude? I, I, I think, think I go think ahead. He, I think that he uh, makes some good points. He do? I think he makes some good points. It's like, uh, there's, there's always been what do you bring to the table as a man with women? Yes. And a lot of times we don't ask them, well, what the fuck do you bring to the table? And, and that's why I said is they, they think that the pussy and personality is all you got to bring. Okay. So, I mean, some of the stuff he said, I agree, but some of the stuff I go, okay, he probably didn't get no ass when he was in. Somebody hurt him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can tell somebody, some girl, Fucked his best friend, and that's why he. Yo, Brett. You know, right? I'm listening. He he a little bit. He a little bit up. He a little disgruntled. Let let the but the camera. I said, look look. O. G. Samuels. I don't got no beef with you, Slim. I ain't like everybody else. Good break. I ain't like everybody else. Right. I noticed the women call in for your help. A lot of people forget that the broads right. call him for help. Right. He don't pick up. A database and be like, let's call yeah. Cuban Leaf and put, you know, OG Pave on the phone. Like, no, what's happening here? Really? He don't do that. Right. The bitches call him. It's true. Right? The broads call that nigga. So I ain't really too fond of, you know, that type of shit, but I just looked at it like it's entertainment. So it ain't, to me, I don't believe it's real. Yeah. I don't believe I think, it. But you know what? It's working. You know what I'm saying? And as us as comics, we get it. We mm -hmm. get it. You know what I'm saying? But that was the one thing when I first saw you do stand up, uh -oh. I thought. Hey, what was that? I thought you were. I thought you're so in your own lane that, like, and nobody. I, and you know, I've been doing this shit forever. How long? I seen. Uh, it'll be thirty years. Thirty years. Thirty years. I've been doing comedy thirty years. I stopped twice, and I, and then, in fact, I just did an interview with Comedy Hot Dance. What what happened? You were doing really good. I said, well, are they good people? <sighs> this is me, nigga. Uh, they they did edit it a little funny style, saying some shit I ain't say, um, but I get it. They going clickbait. I get it. But um, can I before you answer about my material? Right. Um, no. Yeah. Marketing is a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. So when we do something, this is why I created Alpha Nation. Right. So that I can say to my team. And say, Tiff, I'm sick of this, I'm sick of this, sick of this. Right. Shorty gonna say, do something about it then. Right. Right? So then when you do something about it, we get, we wanna go and be accepted by the Breakfast Club or Comedy Hype or the Humor Mill. Right. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. You niggas go for the same niggas. You're not doing nothing evolutionary. Right. In my eyes, you just clickbait. Clickbait. I don't want to talk about, you know, if you're going to use our fucking platform and you want to use us, right. then use all of us. Right. Because you're here because of us. Or you was a failed comic. Nobody came to your show. 
right? <laughs> a lot of you failed ass yeah. niggas Nobody that got behind the camera. Likes you. Real shit. Yeah. And you, you're not likable. But, uh, you know what? I mean, the most. Am I wrong for saying No, that? no, no. I mean, like, I, that's what I used to do comedy wise. Clubs wouldn't book me. I used to, I, the one dude that acted like real funny style, this old, you know, old soft fingered motherfucker. Do I know him? Uh, no. Uh, uh, he, he tried not to book me. I, I rented a place across the street, sold it out, and then took pictures and videos and sent it to him and made the whole crowd go, this is, yeah, you're right, I couldn't do good in your city, bitch. And I made the whole crowd say it, and I filmed it and sent it to him. Really? Now, that was petty. Granted. Why was that petty? It was petty, but I You're a shit talker. We get, I get, let me tell you something. I get paid, that nigga get paid to shit talk. That's what we do. We get paid to shit talk. Yeah. Yeah? And then he hit me with, oh, man, what the fuck, man, what the fuck? No, no, you said I wouldn't do good in your city. And this is across the street from your venue. I that's did it on purpose. And then after that, that's why I said I agree with you about creating your own. But I think now I'm starting to get tired. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try to go with it. I just signed with a dude, uh, Eric Young. who does, And I haven't signed with nobody all this time. You talking about the Michael Blackson nigga? Yeah. But, because so far, so far. I no, I'm letting you know. I'll say the shit. I don't care. So far. <laughs> So far, uh, I haven't seen, uh, what's that word, nigga? Results. <laughs> I need to see results. Look, look, let me tell you my shit. E. Young can say it. He can say it. I need to see results, bro. He say, this is the g shit I ever told a nigga in my life. Right. Nigga see me at the uh, improv. He cool. Right. Cool. He cool. He cool. Most people in our business, outside of doing shit, right. they really cool people. Right? Oh, I'm going it don't matter. No, no, I see. No so matter. then the nigga say, we at the improv. He said, yeah, you know how he talk real quiet. He said, yeah, <laughs> man, I want to, let's do some business. Right. You know, I said, okay, well, give me your number. No, he said, I'm going to give you my number. I said, no problem. He, right. We at the improv. I just did D-Rays Monday night, right? The nigga tell me, keep hitting me because I don't answer my phone. Uh. I said, well, what the fuck am I calling you for? <laughs> yeah. So D-Ray turns around. Michael Blackson ain't there yet. So he looking like, this a different nigga. Right. I said, what the fuck am I calling you for? Right. I said, first of all, I got three different baby mamas. If I don't call them about my children, I don't call niggas <laughs> about potential work and I go book it already. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Right. So right. he didn't know what to say. So then when I see him in Atlanta, for a shout out to Sexy Marlo, yeah. you know, she uh, she had me headline her tour. He shows up, but he not knowing I'm on the tour. He not knowing I'm on the show. Right. So that I said, come in, nigga. Like that, you know, I'm loud. You know, I'm, come in, nigga. I'm really just fucking with you. So that nigga turned around, oh, what's up, girl? I was like, what you doing here? Yeah. How many dates do this? I said, come in, Marlo. How many dates you got for her? Don't fuck over her. Do not fuck over her. Netflix don't fuck with her. They only accepted her because of Tiffany Haddish. Right. Don't that's, that's fuck true. over her. That's true. What are you doing? So that goes back with the results shit. Because I'm like, I care, bro. Right. OG, I really care. Niggas getting dates. It's 52 weeks in a year. Right. You mean to tell me if, to me, this is, if I'm at Cuban Leaf, to me, this is a comedy show. Yeah. Yeah. Because I got to entertain. My right. guests have to be entertaining. Right. The, the OG, the boss, other shit, you got to see if it makes sense. Right. So we're entertainers, dog. This ain't personal. So when niggas start talking about, I always look at niggas that's going to be repping Grady. If I see your goofy ass on social media, I don't fuck with you. I lose all respect for you. Wow. I lose all respect for you. I just you're saw. You're not a hustler. You know what But yeah, so I didn't book. In the past week and a half, I done booked 16 dates, right? You work, though. That shit. Yeah, crazy. and I just want to know, you know, I, it's like, you got to let me know something. It can't be just, you know, radio silence. I shot too hard. You know, radio silence, and that's what it's been so far. So, I mean, I just like... But he a cool nigga, though. No, he mad cool. He dressed, I seen him hey, with man. the Balenciaga, I said, nigga, you not Michael Blackson. I know, Get but... Get the fuck off the Instagram. I, you know what? I like can't think my son's cool. Huh? 
How many sons you got? I got two boys. You're a daddy. Yeah. You're a real daddy. Yeah. And I, I one, one, one. Uh, my oldest one lived with me the whole time, pretty much. Uh huh. Eighty percent, eighty-five. I get it. And the other one was that was the one you were talking to yesterday when we did yeah. Quake's house? Because let me tell you, look, look. That's how I know it was a son. Yeah. It wasn't no broad. This how I know it was you was a father. Let me take my right. glasses off. This how I know you was a daddy. You said you, you, you the, the camera's up. You like yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got that? You all right? Cause the Uber. All right, let me know. Yeah. I said, oh shit. Yeah, that's my He's old. a fucking daddy. Yeah. Daddies talk like that to their babies. Right? Well, let me know. That means if you ain't got the money, right? Call me. I'll take right. you. Or call me. I'll pick you up. Or call me and I'll run downstairs and give you the money. Or let me know before you get your ass out of because daddy about to go and work. Right. I, I knew you was a dad. Yeah, man. That's what made me chill. I knew too. you was a dad. Because, I mean, I, I've been on a couple forced vacations from the government. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. You know. What they call? I called it forced vacation <laughs> from the government. I was, I was away on a, a sabbatical. Hey, man. It was a sabbatical. I'm about to leave up out of here, nigga. <laughs> in a confined space with, with weights. Hold on. <laughs> and, uh, and that's real shit. That ain't even my set. That's just me telling you. Salute to all the jail niggas. That's what he said. Yeah, so. <laughs> Salute to all the jail I mean, because of dumb shit. Uh, did you see that shit? Go ahead, go ahead. Come on, you're on the show. All right, did you see that shit I just did? Um, and uh, because when I was younger, I, like you said, light skin. I, I, I know why I was. People said, oh, because you light skin. No, I'm just, that's really me. Yeah. You know, I think that people thought that I was doing it because I was high yellow. I was more like, no, I'm really like this. Yeah. And but now that I'm older, I like, I ain't trying to get all bruised up. Now I just want nice linen. Maybe I just want, you know what, tell the truth, you get older, you want nice linen, and you want a nice little broad that's going to rub your feet. That nigga said linen. Watch, watch, watch. When you're young, you like, you don't give a fuck. You want nice linen, you want nice shit. Okay. And I and, and I I can't do that if I'm scuffling with some nigga at a bar. I get I it. Can't. So I get it. I think the, my main thing was I had so much up and downs, and like right now, people always ask me how am I still calm because I lost like from March till now eleven, and my brother passed away like a month and a half ago. Yeah, my old brother. Talk. Yeah. So. I just feel like I listen to my pops. When my mom's, when my mom's died, she had a heart attack. This is my pop said, look, niggas have heart attacks. It happens. We gonna bury That's the speech? That was it. That's the speech he gave the family? That was it. About his wife? Yes. Yeah. That was it. So, but it... <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah, that was real shit. And this is... That's the I speech. gotta put this in my act, but I don't know how to do it. When my pops passed... He had brain cancer. The motherfucker was having headaches, but he wasn't telling us. And, and that's what black men, we got to stop doing that shit. He, I'm like, man, your head hurt? He said, yeah, how long have it been hurting? About nine months. Motherfucker. So we take him to the hospital. He got brain cancer. The doctor said, you got about maybe a month to live. I'm going to say a month. Get your shit in order. And um, my pops didn't miss a beat. He said, yeah, well, I got to get back down to the casino and get my money back. That was it. So, and we went down to the casino and the nigga won $15,000 that night. I asked him, I said, yo, man, you know, give me a little taste of that money. He said, nigga, this is my money. Uh, I want it and I'm gonna spend it all for this month's up. And he did. He bought a, a bunch of unnecessary shit. And then the, the, we, the night he was, the night he died, he was like, don't cremate me because um, it's a lot of money for, you know, a, a funeral, don't do that shit. Just, no, he said, cremate me and throw my ashes over Atlantic City Boardwalk because I love gambling more than I loved your mother. And I was like, wow, that was some real shit. My, my brother wanted to punch him in the chest, but I was like, the nigga's gonna die anyway. We don't really need to punch him in the chest. It ain't gonna work. No, nah, that's real shit. He said that shit. That's real shit. He said that. I love gambling more than I love your mother. That's what he said. And my brother was going to punch him. And then I stopped my brother. And then he, we left at 8. He died at 11. We took his ashes down to Atlantic City Boardwalk. It sounded like a joke. It sounded like a, I got to figure out how to do shit. And we threw his ashes. And no bullshit. The wind blew. And the wind blew on all of us. My son, everything. The wind blew. And we got his ashes all over us. 
And it, I wish I wrote this shit. My uncle Phoebe, he said, we cannot get rid of this nigga. We can't. <laughs> this nigga, was, he, he won't go away. And I, and I start laughing, and we was all sad. And we I ain't laughing. laughing. No, I no, we start laughing. I, I ain't laughing. We start Jesus. laving. We start, I'm laughing Pave ass over there. <laughs> no, no, no. We started laughing, and it made us feel better. Like, everybody was sad. We started laughing, and the phobie got it in. That was hilarious. And then we started saying all these fucked up stories he did. Like, the motherfucker won $200,000 on the Super Bowl. He came, did? Yeah. Your father. My father came home with the money. And then he was drunk and started pissing on my sister. Started pissing all over the place, pissing on my sister. My mom's hit him in the head with a lamp. That's when they got the divorce. Hit him in the head with a lamp. And then he picked all the money up except for like five, five grand. Went out, lost it all. Lost every penny. And I asked him, where, you, you where your mom and daddy from? <laughs> <laughs> where y'all from? What's wrong with right these niggas? Come on. Nah, but nah, man. And then uh, I asked him, yo, where, where are you from? Oh, New York. You from New York? Yeah. This whole time I've been your friend. Yeah. Your ass from New York. I'm thinking you a LA nigga. Nah, I moved out here. Oh my god. Oh, that was. Uh, but nah, and then, oh shit, I knocked you in. Um, it's your shot. Keep going. The thing was with my um, pops. It's just mm -hmm. the way he was. It's like if you got cut, he says, man, you know what? Cuts happen. He's cuts. Just a, happen. That's what he would say. Shit like that. I'm like, nigga, I'm bleeding. Ah, cuts happen. Wrap it up. Keep it moving. <laughs> that was him. So Your father heartless than him. I don't want him to be my daddy. You gon' you gonna kiss this elbow that I done scrape. <laughs> I done fell off this damn bike. You gonna do something as a daddy, goddammit. No, I mean, but he you know. That's why you tough, nigga. No, I think it I think that it made me that's why I'm I think I'm more in it like with my son. I think I was like, yo. You a, you a dad. I listen to him a lot more than he listened to me. Really? Yeah, but that's why I, when I don't get something comedy wise. See, I told you he got that little smooth little. I knew that shit. <laughs> he said, he said, no, you know I don't play at all. <laughs> then he do some weird shit with the thing. He do some, he do some kung fu shit with the shit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I, I knew, I knew you could play, dude. What? And guess who? Why Speaking of the devil, that was my son calling me. That was your son. That's the yeah, was, nigga. I got, I got two. You. I got three boys. Yeah, I got I got three of them. I got yeah. I decorated them, you know, when they see them, they be like, oh, they handsome. I like, I decorated them myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they mouth, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's like, I decorated them myself. Yeah. But you know what though? I'll say this. People don't know what shapes us as comics. Right. So that even though the shit you just dropped on us, right. that shit painful. You we we have to find the funny right. and the pain shit. Right. Not getting booked. We got to make a joke out of that. Losing you both parents. We got to make a joke out of that. Now, only one that I don't think you ever going to talk about is your son. That's just right. father to father. Other You're not going to talk I, about No, I, only, I got one new You're talking about the one with the, the sickle cell. No, no, yeah, no, I don't talk about that. That's my point. You yeah, ain't going to never talk I, about but that. But the older one, for sure. Of course. This nigga is Why is not, your phone on? I cut phone? it off. I cut it off. I thought I cut it off. I, I hit the shit. I don't know what it is. Kids know Look, I how. cut it off. You did it. cut it off. I'm going to tell every, all, all the, no, we good. All the parents that's daddies, this is, I think, sons yeah. here to bother their father. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. I think all sons bother their daddy. Yeah. It's, it's just an innate ability. And I know he, he hit me up. I'm like, nigga, I told you. I, I, so when, you, when I got here and you had that, like you was like, yo, nigga, let me talk to you. Right. And I'm like, nigga, I hope I ain't do none of his jokes. Or no, I no, say man, nothing, you're, but, you're in your own lane. I was like so, and I, like, I hate when motherfuckers say shit mm -hmm. to people. And I know you don't feel that way. I know you ain't said that shit nowhere else. Mm -hmm. Your shit was so specific, and your voice was so specific. I said, I have been doing comedy all these years. I ain't seen nobody in this lane. Nobody. And you killed. There's a difference if you was just unique and the shit was minimal. I'd be like, yeah, that was real clever what you did with the whole words, but the shit didn't translate. But you, and you killed. And that's why I said, like, even when I watched the trailer for the movie, I was like, he is going... Other than the movie, I hope that that shit gets seen by everybody. I I shared it on my page. I shared uh, that skit I was telling you about. I shared that. Which one? Vegan the, Gangster or 
No, the, the uh, Jamaican one. Jamaican one. Wow. I shared that shit, and people were saying, "Oh, it's so funny." I said, "You need to follow this cat. You need to. You better get on now. You better get on now." I'm saying the bookers Thank better you. get. You better get on now, because guess what? Later, it's gonna be a lot of money. Because I've done that to promoters that tried to play me to the left, but. And then the one dude said, when, like, even when I did my special, people didn't realize I'm executive producer on my special. I saw that. And me and Nazi Islam edited it. Shout out to Nazi. Nazi Islam. Nazi Islam. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam. Inshallah. You know, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. we did the shit, right? And people was like, oh, you did a little special. And I hate that word, little. Little. I fuck it, it diminishes it. Yeah. It's like when women say, I see you with your little comedy show. I see you with your little with, cigar yeah, lounge. Yeah. I see you with your little cigars. I see you with your little merch. Yeah. That basically means they don't fuck with it. Right. And then when they saw it, and I told them, well, Lil, if you consider Lil, we did two shows, 2,500 people a show, and we had niggas waiting outside that couldn't get in. So if that's Lil, I guess that's Lil. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, I, now, don't get me wrong, for about four months after that, broke as fuck. That's fine. That broke as fuck. But you slept peaceful. Yeah, because I, I was like, and my ex, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, the shit's doing real well, Bobo. You motherfucker. You, you know what? Let me, let me say this to everybody that's watching here on, on the episode. Shame, and I got to say it, right? Shane was bigger than any of us on social media. Yeah, any of cool. us without the help of Twitter. Right. I didn't do So that. this dude here, he was doing the same numbers as Kevin Hart or even more because of his branding. Right. That nigga right there. It was only one comic that was really rocking the social media and marketing and, and promotion shit and the PR. This nigga. But you know I got that from the white boy, uh, Dan Cook. That was I saw him doing it. I said, "Well, he was best friends with Tom over at MySpace." Yeah. So yeah. come on, if they best friends, I guess so. Yeah, he had. That's a pave if he got a million niggas, and I'm here at Cuban Leaf. I'm be like, all you, all you niggas, you can't get in here unless, unless you, you follow fall, Brady. Right. right. But no, nah, I mean that's not a real lick. But that's yeah. But no, smart. that was what. Yeah, I was watching him going. Okay, this motherfucker sitting up at night. Mm -hmm. in, uh, you know, communicating back and forth with fans, and I'm gonna start doing that. And Do you also, think that worked? Huh? And if, because it worked, it worked. Wait, wait. So, well, so let me just say this. So, if a motherfucker hits Grady's Instagram, right. Facebook, Twitter, I'm not. Am I supposed to talk to them? Yes. So, if you get a what you on? Hey, bae. I get mostly bitches or niggas. Be like, nigga, what? We'll be cracking tonight. Right. I don't. I want you to buy a ticket. If, if I can. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, am I wrong for that? How do you, yes. how do you uh, oh. differentiate? Yeah, yeah. You how know. do you differentiate? I say, no, nah, but the people that's just on that old thirsty, like when you can see the little bit of slobber coming out the side of their mouth, though, <laughs> you know, you can see their mouth is just Mojave. You know what I mean? So I, I don't, those kind of people, I don't fuck with them. Okay. But there's some people that's sincere they be like, yo, I've been watching you since I was young, and blah, blah, blah. I said, all right, well, yo, I communicate back and forth with them. Yo, let your people know when I'm in Cincinnati, when I'm in Chicago, fuck with me. Yeah. So I do that. I do that. And I do that usually middle of the night when everything's quiet. I ain't got to worry about kid, none. Yes, sir. So I do that, and I started doing that, and I saw, I wanted my following to, it's not as big as some people's, but it's, I want to be organic as fuck. I wanted people to really be like, I fuck with him, like, where if you're on Facebook, if my car broke down, I can hit somebody up and they'd be like, I got you. And I don't really know them, know them. Okay. But I've communicated so much with them. They're like, yo, man, where you at? I'm like, all right, my car broke down, I need you, you know, my tire, whatever. They'll fuck with me. So I wanted that. I re like, look, there was something Louis C.K. said, and uh, I was, there's, there's a group called Fishbone. It's a black punk rock metal group. And I was doing a show with them. And it, he said, you go to the party with the girl that's going to fuck you. That's what you do. You fuck with the people that's really fucking with you. And it doesn't have to be millions, but if it's a good number, you'll be fine. And so I've sustained and done pretty well without representation till recently. And <laughs> you already know what it is. Until recently, and, and 
it fucked people head up when I would come in and sell places out and they go, but who is this nigga? I don't really know. And like even the comedy hype people, they was like, their question was set up. So why do you think you didn't make it? And I didn't want to bring up. Wait a minute, they asked you why you didn't think yeah, you didn't make it. Can yeah, I say it? Let me, let me do it. Because yeah. let me tell you something. Making it is what the individual seeks, right. not you. Yeah, it ain't about your Right? So ass. if a nigga say I make 200 racks a year of stand up. Right. That's making it, nigga. It doesn't matter. See, what niggas do, they say we are appreciated by the Anglos. Right. Instead of just you saying, know, where the fuck is your integrity at? So you might have a million followers, but you can't follow nobody on the show, according to, you know, these are the words of Earthquake. So niggas that's watching this show. Right. Grady has already made it. I let my people know. You watching me, right? So to see me, it costs a comma, regardless what you're going to put up. Right. To see this nigga, it costs a comma. If they say, we want this nigga on the show, it's a comma. You want Grady on the show, it's going to be a comma. That means five, four-digit numbers. It's right. not going to be 300, 200. It's going to cost you a comma, nigga, and then some. Right. So black folks, we don't appreciate each other right we really don't we want to say if the masses is watching then we fucking with it right so when niggas say hey man how did kevin get to that level kevin got to that level with a white team as well as his right. twitter Dave, becky i i know all of them yeah but minor I mean, all of them berkowitz yeah, all of them yeah uh, but the, it's it's great it's great the difference is when they say little when you gonna make it so these motherfuckers uh, really brought you on a platform they said some shit when what you, do you think it was that this and, and I, I didn't want to bring up the fact that i was away, on one of them niggas. that i was away for a while right. i didn't want to bring that uh, you know i was away for a while i didn't want to bring that up i didn't want to uh -huh. bring up a bunch of shit that i had to deal with but mm -hmm. um you know and that was me i can't even blame nobody you know how people say well yeah, it was the man no nigga, it was me um but this the thing is some women have said that one woman said so you're doing your little comedy show, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, uh, yeah, well, enjoy your little cubicle, uh, <laughs> bitch. You, 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 you silverback. Man. And, <laughs> and, call that bitch a silverback. And secondly. Bruce Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And like 2,000 motherfuckers saw me last weekend. Who saw you? So when comics try to say that shit, they try to act that little, that little slick shit. I'm one, I'm too old for that. Two, I ain't trying to impress nobody from that standpoint. I ain't trying to impress comics no more. Like I used to, there were some comics I used to want to impress. Like, I was like, yo, I wanted him to know I got, I, you know, I got this shit. But now I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, I don't care. Yeah. But I mean, really, there's four cats that I, younger guys. Uh, you, okay. a dude named Jack Knight that I saw. A young, I saw him do like 10 minutes. I was like, yo, that was pretty good shit. Okay. Um, that I was surprised, like, yo, he really is on his own path. And I like the fact you handle your business and you, you're making a brand. And motherfuckers don't realize that. You got to be a brand. McDonald's advertises every day. Who the fuck don't know McDonald's? Everybody knows McDonald's, but guess what? Every 15 minutes, you'll know if the McRib's coming out. You'll know that shit. So the fact that I like the fact you're doing that shit like that, I learn from you. I go, okay, I'm watching how he's moving. You learn from me? Absolutely, I learned from man. Man, when I watched that, when I watched the movie, I saw you stay. It was like the movie trailer. It was a movie trailer and the skits. I said he's branding himself, and I got to start doing more stuff like that to brand myself. Wow. And my my type of sense of humor. You called me Apex yesterday. Man. Right. I think that Alpha 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 Nation is going to be bigger than you even know. But once it gets bigger than you know, you're going to go into Apex. And Apex is bigger than Alpha. And you're, you're about, it, unless you kill a hooker or some crazy shit, like if you're like, damn, Grady choked a hooker. Other, th other than that, you should be fine. <laughs> like, if you don't do no dumb shit, like, damn, I cannot believe he kicked that bitch down I'm the steps. I'm joking bitches now. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you don't do that, right. you should make it. But it, like, bigger than you are now. But if you do yes, sir. everything in the path I've seen, it should be fine. Like, I'm, I'm so lucky that I was, like, apprehensive about the special. I was like, yo, I mean, I know I killed. I know I did my thing. I know people was on fire with me. 
you know, I know the shit was nuclear, but the bottom line is when people see it, you can think you nuclear and you nuclear in the room, but it's how they perceive it. Yes, so, sir. but then when I start seeing the reviews come in, I went, yeah, I was right. And even though my woman at the time was like, why are you spending all your savings on this? We need to buy shit. I'm like, listen, I'm telling you, the shit gonna pay off. And now that the shit is paying off, cause I'm at a 99.2% rate with the general audience, which means I get the highest payout Amazon can possibly pay. Are the highest by, by, yeah, the highest. I shot my own. Yeah. I wanna let you see it. Yeah, that's, I mean, shoot your own. Why are we waiting for the look, man? You could be waiting all fucking lifetime for somebody to go, yeah, man, you funny. I'm like, fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. I'm yo, I already know I'm funny. I've been a Zilla since day one. And if you ain't with that, I get it. But guess what? There's a lot of motherfuckers are, and I'm gonna create my own lane, create my own shit. And if I don't make it as big, like there's some rappers I know that are multimillionaires that you don't even know. Kate, God bless the dead, Tech Nine was out of Kansas City. Biggest underground nigga. Underground. Underground nigga. And, and the problem Worth is, 70 million? Yep. People feel like if they don't know you, nobody knows you. And that's some bullshit. I just got hip to this dude, Toby Nguku. I don't know if I'm saying the nigga's right, name right. Out of... Out of um, South Africa? Uh, Houston. Houston, okay. And the motherfucker's fire. Okay. Yeah, and I, so the, you, you might not know some... There's a group, there's a reggae metal group called Skindred that sold out Wembley Stadium. I ain't never heard of no reggae metal and the motherfuckers sold out women's stadium so because you don't know them don't mean they ain't known and that's when i'm starting to realize be comfortable with my shit never hate on another motherfucker big up niggas instead of like spend that same energy bigger niggas up instead of just you know like now and somebody get real if somebody get yeah. real yeah. you know whipped cream it's on the, me then he gotta get yeah, yeah. you know try jesus type shit yeah. don't try me type shit but yeah. but other than that man that's where i'm building and plus I got a sick kid and all that other shit. I'm, I'm focused on the bag. And so, this is what I want to tell everybody, man. I'm get this Shane, one. how do people get in, in, you know, get in their good graces with you? What do you mean? Where they can find you at? What Probably. you got coming up, brother? But first, before I say that, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Like this shit, nigga. Like, big gay kid. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. Don't you say nothing. Don't you say a goddamn thing. I'm going to give you the Denzel Washington finger. Oh, no, and you can follow me. Yo, this is how I do it. Sign up on my website, IamShang.com. Because emails are the center of all social media. Everybody's like, oh, that's corny. Guess what? I got, I got 2.6 million emails signed up to my site. So everybody said that shit corny. All right, I'll be corny. But emails, you can't sign up for nothing on social media without an email. So I'd rather have that than trend with other shit. So... Sign up on my website, IamShang.com. Obviously, the gram is real important. At Comedian Shang. And just get at me. Watch this special. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Now, I said some incredibly hard shit. And my new material is way worse. I'm talking about I can't about, wait to watch. Yeah. I wrote some shit about tying two little white babies together. And using Ain't them like noon chunks. <laughs> yeah. To fight cops. That's what I'm going to start fighting them with. Baby noon chunks. Listen, man, <laughs> we are we wrapping up the show. <laughs> we wrapping up OG, the baby news. Tom McShane, go check him out. Go go support yeah. all of his handles, social media, Instagram, yeah. Twitter. Sign up to his email list. I'm your boy Ray Grady. Sign up to my email list. You already know RayGrady.com. Get on my email list as well as uh, YouTube. Uh, in a, in a minute, in a minute, we gonna talk about what we are gonna do with this YouTube, but. At Grady Comedy, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, no longer there, no more. So uh, shout out to Cuban Leaf here in Inglewood, black home. I come home when I need to do what I need to do to be recognized by my own people, and I feel comfortable. Hey, man, uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, share the video, and this your boy Ray Grady. We get up out of here. Yep.